Yo, what's going on, guys? So let's talk about the cardinal sin itself. Jante Porter and potentially prop betting. How true or what's the validity behind this news? That's where we're at. We don't know the extent of it, but this is basically what we've heard from Adam Silver that he's, you know, there's an ongoing investigation and that if he did commit the cardinal sin, then banishment is seemingly going to be the punishment. So my Mike Verkanov of The Athletic, I actually know Mike. I actually want to apologize to Mike last time. Sorry, sorry. I think he went to the bathroom. And he asked me if I was leaving. I was like, no, but I was leaving. And I just said it in a weird way. I was leaving after I said goodbye to people. So for Vork, I'm sorry I didn't say goodbye. But Toronto Raptors forward John Tay Porter risks being banned from the league depending on the results of the NBA's investigation into bets involving Porter. NBA Commissioner Adam Silver said during a news conference Wednesday after the league's annual Board of Governors meeting, quote, it's a cardinal sin of what he's accused of in the NBA, end quote, Silver said. Porter has been away from the Raptors since last month after the league learned of suspicious betting on Porter's personal stats on two different games, both on the under for his prop bets. Those bets were the largest money-making bets on NBA action on those game nights on DraftKings, according to the DraftKings Sportsbook Insights, which published daily and distributed to media members. A DraftKings spokesman could not confirm its accuracy. FanDuel also saw out of the ordinary activity on Porter's under bets those two nights and an industry source with knowledge of those bets confirmed to The Athletic. The company reported it to the U.S. Integrity, a company that monitors sports wagering for suspicious activity. Silver said that there is an ongoing investigation in support, but he holds a large level of latitude when it comes to punishing Porter. Quote, the ultimate extreme option I have is to ban him from the game. The level of authority I have here because there's nothing more serious around the game, the league when it comes to gambling around our games than direct player involvement. The league, the league investigation is ongoing, but the consequences could be severe. End quote, Adam Silver said. NBA players cannot bet on N the NBA. According to a copy of the player conduct memo reviewed by The Athletic and cannot manipulate or influence games also known as game fixing or not perform to the best of their abilities for reasons related to betting. With Porter, the NBA became the latest North American professional sports league to get installed in a betting controversy. Still, Silver said he remains a proponent of legalized sports betting. Silver said he would prefer it if Congress was involved and created national laws instead of piecemeal resolutions with each state. Often, other sports leaders have pushed for some change too. NCAA President Charlie Berger says, he wants to see prop betting banned for college sports. And I think that's the, the thing is, betting has led to changes in the behavior in the arena. Silver said he has heard about an increased incidence of fans yelling at players about missing an over or an under and at coaches for how many minutes they give players. Players have spoken out about the abuse they receive. And with sports betting being rampant, I think it's just going to continue. And with scoring down across the NBA, it's been clear. And Silver said when the, the league wants to talk about it, they will. But basically, they're being transparent. And he says, on average, there are two fewer calls. It's definitely interesting. And I'm curious to hear your, your thoughts as this is interesting. I think it's bad. It's bad. You wouldn't be gone for so long if it wasn't bad. It's bad. 